pages 38 and 39. Reading. Guide to Thailand. Bangkok. The Grand Palace. Visitors from all around the world are truly amazed by the beauty and magnificence of the richly decorated buildings of the Grand Palace. Stunning. Dazzling. Like a dream. It's a must. Comments like these appear repeatedly in online reviews written by visitors from every continent. The palace is one of the sites in Bangkok that every tourist should see. If you only have a little time in the city, make it your first destination. Facts about the palace. The Grand Palace stands majestically on the east bank of the Chow Praya River. It is a complex of many buildings, and the whole site measures more than 218,400 square metres. It is surrounded by a protective wall which is 1,900 metres long. There are three parts to the palace complex, the outer court, the central court and the inner court. History The Grand Palace was built by King Rama I in 1782. At first, it was a group of traditional wooden buildings which the king used for his residence and his administration offices. More buildings have been added gradually over the centuries. The Grand Palace is no longer the permanent home of the kings of Thailand, but many buildings are used for government offices or for important occasions and ceremonies. The palace remains uniquely important to the people of Thailand. Architecture Golden towers and colourful steep roofs rise impressively above the palace walls. Architectural styles include Thai, with other features from China, Cambodia and Europe. King Rama I encouraged Thai culture and literature. He told his architects to decorate his palace walls lavishly with scenes from the Thai story, the Rama Kien. These remarkable murals can be seen on some of the oldest buildings in the outer court of the palace. Statues representing legendary creatures stand fiercely on guard at entrances and adorn facades, terraces and staircases. Important buildings in the palace complex. This building in the central court was first a royal residence. Now it is used for royal ceremonies. This building was a royal residence for nearly 50 years and foreign guests were received here. Now it is a great hall for state occasions. This is one of the oldest buildings in the palace complex and is built in an ancient architectural style. This building has eight towers, each one a different colour with its own special meaning. There are many other buildings to see in the outer court and central court, including libraries and galleries with murals showing historic events and battles. In the past, the inner court was the residence of the Queen, the royal children and their servants. It is not possible to visit this part of the palace. The Grand Palace is open every day from 8.30 to 15.30. Tips from international visitors. Go by boat. The River Boat Express stops a short walk away. You get a great view of the palace from the river. Isabella, Argentina. Wear the right clothes. Shorts and sleeveless tops are not allowed. If you don't have the right clothes, there is a place where you can hire them for your visit. But it's better to have your own. Shirin, Sri Lanka. Take an umbrella. It will either pour with rain or the sun will burn you. So you'll need it whenever you go. Kira, UK. Plenty of water to drink. You'll be walking a lot and you'll get very hot. Mailing. China. Ignore the tricksters. 
They wait around for tourists and try to take them to some other place. They want your money. Walk on and don't stop. David, Scotland. A friendly man told us that the Grand Palace was closed. He said that he would take us to a palace that was open. He took us there, but afterwards he wanted us to buy expensive jewels from his friend's shop. Later, we found out that the jewels were fake and the Grand Palace wasn't closed at all. Dan, Canada. Don't forget. Your ticket also admits you to the Vimenmech Mansion Museum, which is near the Grand Palace. It's worth the visit. Tracy, USA. 1982 was the 200th year of Bangkok, and the mansion, built by King Rama V as a residence, was repaired. It is now a museum. Grammar in use. Activity 1. Come on, Laura. Can't you walk a bit faster? Our bus leaves in two minutes. Hang on a sec. That's my phone. I've got a text. Don't read it now. But it might be important. Oh, it's from Robert in Kenya. Can't you read it on the bus? He wants us to send him information about schools in the UK. You can email him later. Yes, and I can tell him about our school. Good idea. Send him some photos too. He says he needs the information by the 25th. When's the 25th? Um, it's uh, next Tuesday, I think. He says, do we know there's a solar eclipse in Nairobi next week? He needs to tell the science team about that, not us. It's interesting, though. When is our next team meeting, by the way? I think it's on Saturday afternoon. I'll check when we get on the bus. If we ever manage to catch the bus, come on! Unit 4, page 46. Conversation practice. Activities 2 and 3. What's your school like, Ross? My school? Well, it's pretty big. There are about 1,500 students. Wow, that is big. It's a new school. It was built three years ago. So it's very modern and it's got great facilities. And we've got fantastic grounds too, where we can do sport. Football in the winter and athletics in the summer. Hmm. Sport's not really my thing. What are the classrooms like? Oh, brilliant. They're bright and comfortable, and we've got all the latest technology, computers and so on. It sounds amazing. Much more up-to-date than my school. It's great. We've got a huge sports hall where we do gymnastics and basketball. And there's another big hall, too, with a stage where we put on plays. Oh, you're so lucky. I love acting. I wish we had a hall with a stage. Let's see. What else can I tell you? We've got some great science labs with all the latest equipment. Do you have lunch at school? Have you got a canteen? Well, we have got a canteen. But it feels more like a proper restaurant, really. And the food's out of this world. You're making me jealous. Your school sounds perfect. It sounds so much better than mine. I bet your school uniform is amazing, too. Something really fashionable. Actually, it's not. Our uniform's absolutely awful. Ha! I knew it was too good to be true. Unit 4, page 46. Listening Comprehension. Activity 1. What's your school like, Dan? My school? Well, it's pretty small. There are only about 250 students, I think. Wow, that is small. My school's huge. There are 1,500 of us. <laughs> hmm. What else can I tell you? Let's see. It's very old. It was built over 300 years ago. Really? My school's quite modern. Do you like your school? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. It's old, but it's got great facilities. 
We've got fantastic grounds where we can do sport. And we've got a swimming pool too. A swimming pool? Oh, really? Lucky you. It's a boarding school, isn't it? Yep. I don't think I'd like that. I can't imagine staying at school all the time and sleeping there. Don't you miss your family? Sometimes. But I see them in the holidays and sometimes at weekends. Aren't you lonely? Not at all. I've got loads of friends. <laughs> How big is your class? There are 12 of us in my class. 12? Is that all? There are 29 in mine. <sighs> do you have to wear a uniform? Yes, we do. But not after school or at weekends. How about you? Yes, we have to wear a uniform too. It's dark green. Oh. <laughs> I hate it. Ours isn't too bad. Isn't there anything you dislike about your school? Well, sometimes I think it would be nice if there were girls at the school as well as boys. There are no girls at your school? No, only boys. Is yours a mixed school? Yes, it is. Boys and girls. Is yours a private school? Does your family pay to send you there? Yes, they do. It's quite expensive. How about your school? My school's a state school, so it's free. My parents don't have to pay anything. Oh, do you like your school? Yes, I do. Most of my teachers are really nice, and I've got lots of good friends. It's great.